It's Nicole and today I am sharing my first project with the May 2021 Flavors of the Month kit from the Scrap Room. Here you can see all of the kits, the embellishment add-on, and then I'm going to kind of slow down and let you guys get a better view, I guess, of this kit. This one is going to be the Amy Tangerine Brave and Bold kit from American Crafts. I don't typically shop um, American Crafts lines. I think that they're just not really on my radar. So this was kind of a fun treat to find in the kit. And again, just kind of challenge my creativity with a different brand. And I think that that is something that I personally like with these kits is I think it's easy to go online and shop for brands or themes or kits or products that you absolutely love, you kind of always buy, you're always gravitating towards. Um, with these kits, I am experiencing tons of different brands, tons of different stuff that I don't think I would ever normally be like, yep, you're gonna jump into my shopping cart. And nine times out of 10, I end up with a layout that I absolutely love and everything ends up working out together and, just ends up being a really fun process. So here you can see it came with two sheets of white cardstock, the three pattern papers. My specific kit came with two sheets from the sticker book, which happened to both be alphas. I've got a couple phrases, um, like a floral die cut. I had a frame, a couple little like icons. And then I also grabbed the like foam thickers, I think is what these are. I don't know if these are like foam stickers or if they actually call them thickers, but I think these also vary because they get split. So I think like if you bought the whole pack, you would get two of these, but in the embellishment add-on, you're going to get one. So it might vary between kit to kit. Um, that's another thing that I kind of like to see is I go on the Facebook group and I kind of go and look and see what other people did with the kit mostly I want to see like what layouts they came up with but also like if you know if this was the handful of die cuts that I got I'm kind of curious to see which you know who's my like die cut twin who got the other half of the pack and what what was in there and what did they do with it so that's always like a fun thing to kind of see um for my layout it's gonna go pretty quick just because these kits tend to go quick for me. Once I kind of make a decision on stuff, it just sorts it just sort of starts to come together. So because I had a bunch of photos, but I still wanted to keep it to a single page layout, I went ahead and just dropped uh, nine photos into a photo collage. And because that's taking up a pretty good chunk of my layout, but I still want to see pattern paper, I like to just take big like strips and kind of wallpaper the background and then I fussy cut the butterflies from the pattern paper because I wanted them to look more like die cuts and then I just kind of left um like a opening across the middle to be able to put all those little butterflies and then between the die cut phrases the alphabet stickers and the foam add-on stickers I just kind of came up with a title that would work Typically that's what I will do when I get like the die cuts or the sticker sheets and I take a look at the phrases and I try to figure out, okay, can I make a title with what's here? And then that way I don't have to go digging through my stash for like alphabets or I don't have to like die cut my own alphabets. If I can just go ahead and use whatever's in the kit and make it work, then that's usually going to be my go-to for that. So with this, I kept it super simple. I did pull my photo collage back up because I wanted to add a little bit of like texture to that middle area. So I just cut two thin white strips from the second sheet of white cardstock and glued it there. You can't really see it in the video, but in person it just kind of adds a little bit more like texture and interest to that area. And then I typed my journaling and kept it to kind of wider strips and just kind of put a little bit of information about this day. I have a bunch of other photos from the same like outdoor event thing that we were doing. So I kind of break up the story into different layouts, I guess, if that makes sense. So 
things like this where I've got a ton of photos, I do try to keep it simple. I like to keep my layout sort of balanced and kind of open and still have the emphasis be on the photos. But I really loved this like bright collection, especially with the bright like picnic table blanket thing that we had going on in the photos. And yeah, so that is my first project with the kit this month. I've got two more videos this week and I hope you stop by and until then I'll catch you later.